Hi guys, today's project in the shop, we're going to build a 2x72 belt grinder. I'm going to build one for a friend of mine. Um, I've already built one, I know how they're done. This one, one we're going to build today will be a close cousin to the, the my original. I um, hope this video is not too long. I'm going to try to go into every aspect of the build in somewhat detail. I'm not going to show tapping and drilling of everything, but I'll show some of it. All right, guys, let's get after this project. This will be totally scratch built. Here we go. That's what we're building today, one of those. That's right. Okay, let's meet this belt grinder. This is my KMG clone I built several years ago. It's a double barreled model. I, I designed that. So I call it uh, DB clone is what its named is. So this side here has your, your normal tool rest here. Um, you can run a platen like this, a scratch built platen square wheel the mini wheels whatever you want to put in that this also rotates this platen with a couple of uh, big uh, screw handles like that this one's a little unique because this has a work rest holder here i've got my vertical work rest holder i can use this with my square wheel i can use it with my platen and i can also use it with my uh, teeny drives here Work rest, I've, this is my vertical rest I mentioned, and I've also got a horizontal rest that plugs in here and goes, you know, flat there. So, we're gonna try to copy DB clone today. We'll see how it goes. Right on, let's get after it. Alrighty, we're gonna start with this chassis. This is the chassis right here. Uh, this part right here that the arm slide in and out of gonna build the chassis out of this stuff here what I'm using here guys is uh, is a six by half flat bar six by half flat bar a top and a bottom okay these these bars here are gonna simulate the tool arms here so we're gonna lay them in these are gonna be partial here just just to keep the spacing right I don't want to put a full full length bar in here and try to chuck it up in the drill press and uh, you know, it's gonna to be too heavy. So these are one and a half, 1.5 by 1.5 square bar, okay? Two of those, these are gonna simulate, like I said, our tooling bars. These are the spacers. Now KMG uses 1.5 by half on theirs, but 1.5 by half. I went, I'm going a little bigger than this. This is 1.5 by one inch wide. I don't like trying to drill through a half inch plate on the length, you know, lengthwise. So we're gonna set this here for our, our spacer plates. Set them in. Okay, so these are all gonna set in here. Now, when I built my original grinder, guys, the one behind me, I didn't put any spacers in here initially. And uh, what this thing is, when you get it clamped and bolted together, it's like a giant vise. So I've got 10,000 brass shims. We're gonna lay them right in here between these. Okay, like this. That'll give us a little bit of spacing, but not huge. Uh, now, you'll see at the end here how, how well this is going to work out. Okay, there. So I'm using cold rolled, or cold rolled on these two spacers. The center one is hot rolled, and it's a little bit different dimensionally than the, uh, than the cold rolled. The hot rolled is uh, a little bit shorter, so I'm going to lay a couple 10,000 shims in there. We're going to shim the top of this when we're done anyway, guys. And uh, Okay, we're going to lay that in there. And I've pre-punched this, this top plate. I'm just going to drill it with a pilot hole. 
because this has got scratch marks on it from my awl, from my calipers. So I'm going to drill from this side, then flip it over. This will be the outside, so it'll be nice and pretty. Here we go, guys. We'll drill it out. Uh -huh. Okay. The last hole right here through the half-inch plate. All right, we're done there. Um, yeah, all done. <laughs> okay, ready to put this together. I decided to run one and a half thousand shims. I think 10 would be too much for in here. It would give this too much slop. So these are uh, 1.5 thou. Put them in. We're gonna try to square everything up on here with this angle iron here. I've got the 12 holes drilled in the top. So this will be the top here. I'm gonna set this on gently. Oh, let me put my uh, 20 thou up on top here. Hopefully I can keep it on there while I clamp it down. So we'll see, okay? Right here, okay, here we go. So yeah, just kinda set it on like that. There we go, okay, so we're good. Of course, everything shifted. Let me dink with this, I'll be right back. Oh, God, hey. Right. Okay, the shims are in. We're gonna tighten everything up, clamp it. I'm gonna run these kind of clamps for this. These are simple. Uh, cheesy bastards, but they work okay for, for what we're doing. I uh, don't have to hold it real tight, but uh, um, what we have to do here is, uh, I was just, okay, hold this, because I have to tack weld it, and I'm gonna show you how that's gonna work. The tack welds will not be permanent by any means. Okay, clamped up. Okay, so I'm gonna clamp her there. One on each corner, then I can rotate this to weld uh, both sides and uh, show you how that's going to go. <laughs> Hopefully it goes. Okay, so probably tap everything in there with the hammer, make sure we're tight. Okay, get a ball peen on this or a rubber hammer, mallet. Mallet will be fine. So, yeah, just tap this shit together. No, nothing loose. Bottom plate's in. Tight. So we're good. I'm going to weld this up, guys. Just going to put a tiny weld right here, 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 here. Just a little tack. And then we'll, uh, then we can start drilling our holes and tapping. Okie dokie. Hey. Okay, got both sides tacked up pretty good. Take these clamps off. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Okay, so how do these work? How do these cheesy clamps? I don't use them very often. They're like phony fucks, you know? How do you get them undone like that? Okay. So this is just tacked together oh, temporarily. We're gonna do our drilling tapping. So this thing will be able to unbolt, come apart. After we get all our bolts in, drilled and tapped, we'll put this in the big saw and cut about an eighth or a quarter inch off, off the end of this. So everything will be nice and square, nice and pretty. Okay guys, hang tight. Oh, oh yeah. So it took about an hour to drill 12 holes through two and a half inches of steel. We're done. Now I'm going to run a 5 16 drill down there. And then a letter, letter bit um, or number bit. We're going to thread the bottom here for uh, 5 8, 5 16 bolt guys, bolts, 5 16 <laughs> So I've got all the quarter 20 holes pre-drilled. And um, I've also drilled from the top. This will be the top here with a 5 16 bit. It comes up to about here, about right up to there to the bottom of this, top of the bottom plate, okay? Then running a uh, 5 16 tap down. 
This, this side is drilled down through the half inch plate with a, today's letter is G with a G bit, okay? It's a, a, a letter bit G, okay? So I don't have a really, this drill press is too fast to power tap. So what I've been doing is just, uh, I start it with the drill press just to keep it, um, keep everything perpendicular, you know, straight up and down square, whatever you want to call it, and get a couple threads established here, and then cut the, cut the chuck loose, oh boy, that's tight, I tight that sucker up, okay, so just like that, then the, um, I'll get my tap handle on there, right here, so just like this, okay, a little more jizz on it, I know this is an awfully slow way, but really, I'm in no hurry. I enjoy doing this. This is a hobby. It's not a living. So I probably should have sped this up. So it goes through half inch really quick. I believe this is 5 8 18 thread. So yeah, we're cut through here now. Just get this bad boy going here. Okay, I would like to take it all the way down, make sure I've got good square threads all the way. Okay, I've got uh, I've got seven done, five to go. We'll get done with this and then we'll put the bolts in, put it in the big saw, cut about eight to a eighth to three sixteenths off this end, square everything up. And uh, make it pretty. Okay, guys, hang in there. We're almost to the fun part. I'm only going to put six screws in this, um, one on each end of each part. My, my. Okay, what I mean by fun part is in a minute I'm going to take this over. I got a big bandsaw here. We're going to uh, set this in the bandsaw and just cut like an eighth of an inch off that. It's kind of fun to watch it, all this garbage come off these ugly welds and turn into something kind of neat. So, all right, so let's set it up the saw. Yeah, baby. Hey. Okay, here we go. Turn this old saw on. Here we go, coming down. Here we go. This should be fun to watch. It's gonna take a little bit. This saw's no speedy. It's a slow bastard. Uh, should do a nice cut on it. I'll pause this and come back when we're almost through. Getting closer. We're almost through here, guys. I'm going to catch this. We'll take a look at it. Only got about an eighth inch to go. All right. I hear it. I hear it. Almost there. God, it's slow, man. It is slow. There we go. That cut it off. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look at that there. Kind of jumped, didn't it? Okay. Ah, take a look at that. Sure. Okay. So I gotta do the other side. That leaves a nice clean face on that. Perfect. So we'll pull this out and uh, turn it around, do the other side. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that, okay? Hang in there, guys. Alrighty, fresh out of the bandsaw. I've already taken this apart, cleaned up all the metal shavings out of it, and uh, what I've done here, guys, is uh, I put some witness marks on this, designating um, these uprights, one, two, and three. I know it might seem trivial, but you get this thing taken apart to add your shims or maintenance on it, and one of them gets turned on your workbench, 
kind of in a world of hurt. It happened to me, ask me how I know, okay? It happened to me, and it takes quite a little while to reorientate these uh, in the right places. Uh, just because your bolt alignment, they have to go right back exactly where, where uh, oh God, that thing's in, right where they came from. Okay, we're gonna try these tooling arms in here and see how they go. This will be the uh, work holder arm and in first. Right now, everything's gonna fit real nice because these bolts are loose. Now there's a few little scuffs and things on uh, on these uh, arms. They're gonna have to be draw filed, not a big deal. Maybe knock the corners off. They've been rough handled and dinged, but right now they're uh, sliding pretty good. Watch what happens when I tighten these down, okay? We're gonna tighten only tighten six of the 12 bolts. There we go. Whoop. Really? Okay. I'm sure that's an impact rated shot. Okay, so what we've created here now is a vise and a pretty, pretty substantial vise. It might take a press to move these through there. So let me uh, loosen these up. We'll talk about what we're going to do next. building a spaceship here we don't need real tight tolerances but we don't want a whole lot of slop you guys remember when I before I welded this up I put those 1.5 thou shims um, right I think I laid them right in there and that gave us just a nice little bit of side to side movement perfect but now where we're pitching is this way top to bottom so I've still got those two ten thousand shims in here and we're going to add some more. We're going to have to add a shim to each upright inside the full length. I've only got two varieties of shims. I got 1.5 thousandths, and I've got these 10 thousandths out here. I'm going to go cut some more. I'll cut a, two or three of the thinner ones, and then just one more of these uh, these tens. And we'll, we're going to have to slim them down to you know fit this. It's upright, but uh, to get this to sail right, we're gonna have to shim it. So these are pretty labor intensive. These aren't that easy to build. This is the bulk of the time and headache is getting this uh, chassis built correctly so, so it functions smooth. And um, <clears throat> anyway, once we get this done, the rest of it will go pretty much about the same speed as this just because I'm a slow bastard. All right, guys, hang tight. I'll go get some shim stock. All righty. Before, I've got all the shims cut here. Before I go to put this thing together, um, I'm gonna drill the sides of these side frames out. We're gonna go uh, half inch, 13, this 20 to 27. 27, uh, 27, 64 drill bit. This is going to be for my tooling handle lock locking arms here. They'll thread in both sides. Okay, also I've got this, well, we'll talk about this later. Let's do this right now, okay. Okay, so I've got these uh, tapped out, half 13. These are our locking studs. I don't, have, uh, I don't have my studs built yet to go in these. I put studs in these and uh, red lock tight them. So I'm just using bolts now. I'm not gonna show you guys putting the top on. I'm not gonna show you that. It's gonna be some bumble fucking around, I'm sure. So I'll get this put on and we'll come back to the video. Okay. I guess I should have showed you. It really wasn't that bad. Okay, I've got this top piece cut. This is where our uh, um, alignment uh, wheel's gonna go. This goes on here also. Half inch longer bolts, of course. So I need to go back and uh, this will come off again. I'm gonna countersink these a little bit. So got a little nice little transition to go in. Okay, get this bolted down. Then we'll see how the tooling arms work. All right. 
So what I had, I had a little nick on the bottom of this tool arm. Um, I took a file and filed it off. So these are all tight, fairly tight. Everything uh, works good. I'll finish tightening these down. And then we've got our locks here. So nice, these are gonna be good. All right, guys, we'll go on to the next phase. We're gonna build our tracking arm on top of here. We'll have to do some welding here. I'm gonna to try to see, figure a way to uh, unbolt that, have it bolt on instead of weld on. See, mine here is welded on. I would prefer bolt on. We'll see how it goes. We're moving along a little bit, getting a little bit done. <laughs> Latin mounted. How's this one work? Still smooth? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Everything's tied up here. All right, next step. Drilling the base plate for a motor mount. Today's letter is G again, G bit. And got the motor bolted to the base plate. Okay, I've got it mocked up here, kind of. What we're trying to accomplish here is get this clearance down a little bit. Mine over here has a six inch rise. These are six by three here. That's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit low for his motor. When I change motors on this, I'm gonna have to build some different pedestals or uprights. So all I had laying around was uh, eight by five I-beam. I'm not really liking the looks of that. I'm gonna keep scrounging around. It's gotta look right as well as work right. Right? <laughs> okay, guys. So right now I started building this up right here for the uh, alignment arm. I've got two, two one and an eighth square bars here. I'm drilling them out. This is an O letter bit, but I'm gonna tap this side with a 3 8 16, I believe. And uh, this side will through drill it with a 3 8 drill. Hang tight. Okay, completed the hole with the O bit. The letter bit. Now we're gonna run the the three eighths tap down here. Hang tight, guys. Okay, the three eighths hole is tapped out. We're gonna take this over to the vise and uh, put this thing together here. Okay, this uh, bolt will go right through here. Okay. All right, let's do this over here. Okay, I've got this half tapped out to three eight sixteen through my. I used the O drill bit for this, okay. I'm gonna lay this on here. This is my arm I put together. I'll lay this on and we'll talk about this a little bit. So let's um, screw this stuff together here. Okay, all right. So yeah, we're, we'll get this going here. I'm just filming with one hand right now, guys. I'll go get my tripod out here shortly. So it looks like a go here. Okay, so here's our arms here, our uprights right here, okay, like this. This is two inch by three quarter. This is actually some kind of tool steel. I don't know if it's 01. I believe it's 01 tool steel. So that thing was a bear to drill through. I've got my knob here. This is threaded 3816 and just a threaded knob. I put red Loctite in this, so this will stay down and, and this stud won't back out, okay? Okay, so let's call this the tracking arm or the tensioning arm. It doesn't really matter what you call it. So I've got my little knurled knob installed here. This is 3816 thread, 3816. Um, okay, these are inch and an eighth square two, square bar. This is three quarter by two. Uh, rectangular bar. Now, the hole I've drilled for this uh, adjusting thumb, thumb wheel, you gotta have it a little bit below center. So maybe like, say this is a 3 8 bolt, maybe a, a bolt width below center, because what you're gonna be doing is, is uh, raising up this uh, alignment arm here, this fucking tracking wheel. Okay, there we go, guys. Tracking wheel. So we're only going to center punch one of these. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. 
I'll center punch one for center. These don't have to be uh, dead nuts, guys. We're not building a spaceship. So one will be center popped. Then we'll drill the other one underneath and tap and thread it. Okay. Okay, I've got the two holes drilled here. They're going to set uh, set in on top of each other like that, side side to side. So one of these is going to be tapped 5 sixteenths. The other one will be drilled out 5 sixteenths. So this is the letter G hole, G bit, drilled this hole. That will fit our tap. Then we're going to go ahead and hog this one out to 5 sixteenths. Okay, I'm going to wind this 5 sixteenths tap in. Um, I don't believe I want to show every aspect of this uh Tapping and threading. It's, this video is getting kind of long anyway, guys, so I'll just get this done. Okay, so while I've got these bolted together, I'm going to mark for mounting holes here. This is going to be mounted to this uh, tension arm here with four bolts. Okay, so I'm going to use recessed Allen heads. I'm going to drill these these Allens so they're, the head is recessed in the block. So we're just going to kind of figure out where these are going to go. And I'll get this drilled and uh, be right back. Okay, I have these blocks drilled out and countersunk for our Allen bolts. So they'll sit nice and flush in there. This is not done on a milling machine, just a drill press, guys. It's not that hard to do. So next up here, we're going to take this block and uh, spread it out. This We're going to uh, build our... Uh, tracking device here. So we'll just take this apart here. Well, I don't know why it's so tight. Because I used a stainless bolt in it. It must have galled it in a little bit. Hopefully it comes out. Yeah, stainless bolt galled it a little bit. Next time I'll put any C's on this. Didn't even think of that. Okay. All right, so, okay, we've got these together now. Yeah, we'll put our anti seize on there next time. Okay, so uh, we're going to split these out. Okay, this one's off center. This will be the top. This is going to bolt on your arm like this here. These will bolt on just like that, but they're going to have uh, the tracking device in between them. Now, this is a little longer, cut a little longer than, than these two outers, this one. And we also want this to set proud about, I'm going to go almost uh, maybe a 3 16th inch proud, and then we'll drill, drill through this. Let's try that. Here we go. Okay, guys, let's put this together. Okay, now this is going to be our pivot arm. Our tracking wheel is going to mount directly to this. We've got a little bit of clearance behind it. That just allows this piece here to rock like that. So now we're going to tap and drill this, drill and tap this for half inch 12. Our tracking wheel will mount directly to this. Okay, guys, hang in there. So I don't have a set of transfer punches. I'm just going to have to kind of drill this in place and uh, tap, them one, tap them one at a time for our 5 16 bolts. Kind of going to be slow going, guys, but uh, I'll get back with you when it's done. I'm not going to bore you with that shit. Okay, we've got the tension arm drilled out. Got four bolts in that, or bolt holes tapped and threaded. Okay, let's uh, mount this thing up on here. So, here we go. Okay, so, got these in. Super tight. Tight tolerances. Okay. So, my drills on its last leg. Now we can back this off a little bit here. Um, that's not too bad right there. Okay, let's um, put our uh, tracking knob in here. Right here. So, am I on the camera? I guess I am. Okay, so what this tracking knob is going to do. It's going to move this thing up and down here. So it'll rock this thing right here. See? So it'll actually rock that like that. Okay. 
So we'll have to round the end of this um, tracking, tracking knob screw off so we have a nice, um, a nice round edge here. Okay? Okay, guys. Okay, we're going to mount this, uh, this unit here to, this, to our uprights here, like this. Okay, so we're just going to put them together so these will go nice. Okay, I should have my 916 impact out here, but I don't, so. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We're going to put our, our uh, arm on here, our stainless arm. So this is just temporary still. So, okay, now our wheel, our wheel here, okay. So it'll go this way wheel here okay so now we'll kind of look see how this tracking works here that's just like that that just uh just uh flops this wheel around okay guys we're gonna mount this up on the machine now okay let's put this together i've got my top plate cut we're gonna uh, put these bolts in these are three inch five sixteenths long bolts we'll gun these in and then get the rest of uh We'll just show you how this is going to go here. So, should go pretty well. Okay, now, gun these in a little bit here. Okay, not a lot, just uh, probably have to come back off. Okay. Trying to get it centered up there. Get it lined up here. Get it centered, get it lined up. Okay, now, now let's rotate this around so we can take a look at it. Okay, we're going to set our tracking arm. Tracking arm is going to be welded right here, right here. So actually, it's going to go this way. This is the front of the machine. This end here is the front. So this is going to be welded here. Now, what I normally do is put a block in here uh, to keep everything square. So we'll weld this on. We've got to assemble the whole machine to see uh, the width, how much width we're gonna need for our tracking wheel. So, and then uh, let me grab a spring here. And I've got enough meat up here, enough meat on this plate to where we can have our, our uh, spring in here. So this thing's gonna work like that, kinda. All right, guys, we'll uh, assemble this machine now and put this badass stuff together, okay. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to weld it up. Weld her up. Whoop. Just let shit fall. turkey shit there. Getting the base ready for paint. Like rat fink green. First coat. Okay, I'm going to mount this little switch right here. We don't have a whole lot more to do. Um, I'm going to have to pull this motor cover off, run a switch, run a run a cord, and a couple wires, and we'll uh, then we'll put the chassis on this and try it, guys. Should be good. Okay, here we go. Okay, we've got the roll around cart built. I have the motor installed, the switch and the wiring. We'll try this motor out. Super quiet. This is a 1.5 horsepower, 1725 RPM. And I'm running a six inch drive wheel on that. Okay, we're gonna set this chassis on top and bolt it down. Okay, 
This chassis here weighs between, I'm guessing, 80 and 100 pounds. I could pick it up, but I've got a nice voice here. So I'm going to set this on the uh, base here and uh, get everything bolted down. And then we'll uh, put the belt on and give it a test run. So, all righty, guys. It's starting to look like a belt grinder. Some of you guys will call it a belt sander, whatever. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Uh, come. Do a little walk around here. Power switch. Very smooth, very quiet, no vibration. All you can hear is the belt going around. Pretty nice unit. I've got a stop under here for my vertical, maintain vertical. Got a stop right here to maintain horizontal when this thing is tilted. All right, watch this. Everything works. Okay. Tracking works great. Yep. So, it's a success. Jared, I hope you like this. It's a badass machine. Yeah, baby. There they are together. That's my original one I built. This is a scratch built platen. Most everything on this is scratch built. This one came from Beaumont Metalworks. It's a nicer platen. Mine is stainless steel welded. This is a half inch aluminum. Very nice, everything's bolted. So, pretty much the same design belt grinders. Double barrel, work rest holder here. I haven't figured out what we're gonna do on that yet. But uh, yeah, there's a pair of uh, pretty nice machines there. There's some bucks sitting there. I didn't pay a lot to build them, but uh, a lot of work went into them. Later on, guys, scratch-built belt grinders. Not for sale. Sorry. <laughs>